It's Monday, March 28th, 2022, and this is Cafe Devo, coming to you almost live from First Congregational Church in beautiful downtown Duran, Michigan. I'm Pastor Steve Wood, hanging out again with my pal Bugsy. Yep, it's Monday, and he's feeling it. Are you feeling it too? (laughs) I hope your Monday is going well. It's the 23rd day of Lent, And we're continuing this morning with our readings from the book, Into the Wilderness, a collection of Lenten devotions. And this morning we read from the book of Mark, chapter 10, verses 13 through 16. People were bringing little children to Jesus for him to place his hands on them. But the disciples rebuked them. When Jesus saw this, he was indignant. He said to them, let the little children come to me and do not hinder them. For the kingdom of God belongs to such as these. Truly, I tell you, anyone who will not receive the kingdom of God like a little child will never enter it. And he took the children in his arms, placed his hands on them, and blessed them. As you enter day 23 of Lent, let's focus on refuge. When we find ourselves in the wilderness, a place of refuge is so welcome and refreshing. We long for refuge like David who wrote, Hide me in the shadow of your wings in Psalm 17. And for in the day of trouble, you will keep me safe in your dwelling in Psalm 27. David, you see, knew a thing or two about living in the wilderness. When we think about all the ways we seek shelter in the wilderness, we have to be careful not to make the mistake Adam and Eve made when they tried to hide from God because of their sin in Genesis 3. David learned there is no hiding from God and he wrote about it in Psalm 139. Where can I go from your spirit? Where can I flee from your presence? If I go up to the heavens, you are there. If I make my bed in the depths, you are there. If I rise on the wings of the dawn, if I settle on the far side of the sea, even there your hand will guide me. Your right hand will hold me fast. If I say, surely the darkness will hide me and the light become night around me, even the darkness will not be dark to you. The night will shine like the day, for darkness is as light to you. And we all know God is our refuge in Psalm 46.1, but we still try to hide from him sometimes. Media, electronics, alcohol, drugs, and even work are just some of the ways we seek refuge when we are in a wilderness season, and none of them work. Only God gives refuge that heals and will take us through the wilderness. Whoever dwells in the shelter of the Most High will rest in the shadow of the Almighty. I will say of the Lord, He is my refuge and my fortress, my God in whom I trust. That's Psalm 91, verses 1 and 2. So seek refuge in Jesus today and meditate on this thought. Jesus is my refuge. For our fast today, let's fast self-sufficiency. We can depend on Christ. We can also depend on each other. When we need help, cry out to God. He is our refuge. And cry out as well to your church family. We're here for you. Now, Father, bless us this day. We're grateful for it, for a Monday to serve you in. Guide our steps, focus our thoughts, purify our minds, and watch over our tongues so that we will not speak badly of anyone. 
Help us to serve you well, Lord, and to be a blessing to others, we pray in the name of Jesus. Amen. Well, that's going to do it for us on this Monday edition of Cafe Devo. Thanks for clicking the start button and spending a few minutes with me. I hope it was a blessing to you. For now, I'm Pastor Steve Wood signing off (laughs) along with Bugsy. God bless you, my friends, and I'll see you tomorrow. Tomorrow.